so I don't like this background. It's yellow, it doesn't fit my skin color. So let's change this a bit. From this ugly, hideous looking background to this. Oh yes! And this is just nonsense. Welcome to my nonsense video! Hello and what is up to everyone who's watching Welcome back to the channel And in this video, we're going to talk about exposure I mean, photography exposure Alright, so we're going to simply sign this EV for exposure value in photography so in this topic I'm going to show you different levels of exposure so here we go first one is an underexposed subject and the second one here is an overexposed subject The last one is the properly exposed subject. That means the picture or the subject is not too bright or it's not too dark, just properly exposed. So here in photography, we are always aiming for the proper exposure of an image. And in order to get that, we need to set these three very important settings in camera that we need to balance out and change if necessary the first one is the aperture all right and this is uh, in the lens that closes and opens we're going to sign this simply F second setting is the shutter speed and this one cuts the light and we're going to simply sign this S and the last one of the settings is the ISO again aperture shutter speed and ISO and let me show you what's affected by these three camera settings All right, so give me your attention, F22, F18, F14, F11, F8, F6.3, 5.0, and 1.8. So aperture, let's say the number is lower, that means the aperture in the lens is widely open. And if you see the number uh, higher on your f-stop, like f16 or f22, that means it is close down it has small 
hole that lets in few or little amount of light. So when the aperture is widely open, like 1.8, it lets in more light. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the shutter speed. Shutter speed 1 8000, 1 5000, 1 3200, 2000, 1250, 1000, 800, 500, 320, 200, 125, 80, 50, 30, 20, 13, 8. Alright, so for the shutter speed settings, if your shutter speed setting is higher, like 1 1,000th of a second, that means it cuts the light faster. And when the number is lower, like 1 30th of a second, 1 15th, or even 1 5th, and so on, the shutter cuts the light slower and when the shutter speed or when the shutter cuts the light slower it gathers more light all right so you get the idea it absorbs more light when the shutter is open longer and let's take a look at the ISO setting ISO 125 160 200 250 320 400 500 640 800 1,000, 1,250, and 102,000 and for the ISO if the number is lower let's say 100 ISO the sensor gathers less amount of light it is less sensitive to light and when you increase the ISO number the sensor becomes more sensitive to light and it gathers more light See, all of these affects the brightness and exposure of an image. Are they the same? Can we just choose one setting to operate for brightness and exposure? Well, no. Let's check other effects of each camera settings. Let's start with aperture and see what it does. Alright, so aperture is responsible for the depth of field and the bouquet. If you don't know what I mean, let me show you. This is what aperture is responsible for. Now let's take a look at the effects of shutter speed settings to an image. Observe carefully, especially the motion and the sharpness. Lower shutter speed, it introduces blur. Higher shutter speed, it freezes the action. And for the ISO, it is responsible for the cleanliness and the graininess of an image. So the lower the number, the cleaner the image, and the better. And if you increase your ISO, you're introducing much noise and grain to your image. 
Alright, so for ISO settings, the lower, the better. Okay, and we'll be talking about these settings more in our future videos. The aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. So I think that's all for this video. I hope you have learned something, even just a little bit. If you have questions, comment down below. I'll answer them. And also I'll show you some tools that I use so you will have an idea of how I use them why I use them and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel let's grow this let's spread the passion the vision and also Click the bell button so whenever I upload new videos, you will get notified. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Alright, bye-bye.